Tonight's film is The Battle of Algiers by Gino Pontecorvo, the Italian director, but it's actually an Algerian film from 1965, a classic of political cinema, which represents the struggle against the French colonial occupation of Algeria. It's considered to be one of the most important political films of all time and was famously banned in France until the 1970s, famously screened at the Pentagon during the Iraq War, and is considered to be a crucial text about anti-colonial struggle. In terms of sustainable development, we can think of it as a film about clearing a political space whereby repressed peoples can then develop themselves and their own nation. Uh, but the film is also problematic if we consider what's happening in Algeria at the moment and why Algeria is not part of the Arab Spring of 2011. Unlike neighbouring Tunisia, for example, with the Jasmine Revolution, Algeria has not had a democratic uprising. And the reasons for that actually date back to this film and date back to the political makeup of Algeria. This is a film about the liberation struggle, but it's also a film about a lack of dissent within the liberation struggle and the means whereby one can overthrow a colonial power. Uh, however, as we've seen in Algeria recently, the replacement for the colonial power was a neo-colonial power. So uh, a fascinating film, a very powerful film, uh, uh, an infamous film, wonderful to watch, stirring to watch, but it raises questions about Algeria these days and the mismatch between dreams of liberation and the reality in Algeria today. Enjoy.